you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting thanks for subscribing thanks for sharing my presentations if you haven't subscribed please kindly do right now today i'll be addressing two medications in one so for dosine with pyrimetamine the brand name that is commonest is Fancida. It could come under different brand names from Fancida to Amala to Corridocin FM to Domain, Loridos, Pancida, Plasmodin, or Remodern, depending on the one available in your country or jurisdiction. By classification, it is an anti malaria. The pyrimetomy component is antiprotozoa, while the sovadorcine component is a sulfonamide. Uses in HIV. Pretty useful for prophylaxis against pneumocystic gyrovesic pneumonia, formerly known as pneumocystic carini pneumonia in HIV patients. But we should tell ourselves the truth, right? This is not the first choice when it comes to prophylaxis against gyrovesic pneumonia in HIV patients. In the absence of all other useful you know, agents for this purpose, you can grab it. It's okay. Still on uses. For short term prophylaxis against malaria, you can make use of Fancida. For treatment of uncomplicated chloroquine resistant malaria, fancy that could be helpful. In the absence of other suitable drugs, like I've just said on the previous slide, we can make use of these for prophylaxis against hemocystic gyrovesic pneumonia in HIV patients. Campion in forms of tablet for paora. And we will have Sovadosi 500 mg with pyrimetamine 25 mg. Dosage for prophylaxis in non endemic zones like Western Wars, Europe, and all North America, you can use two tablets every two weeks or one tablet every one week for prophylaxis in non-endemic zone. In endemic zones like Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, you can use three tablets once every month. For prophylaxis in children, and that must be in a child greater than two months. So anyone that is less than two months, no. So we go by weight. Greater than two months, weighing five to ten kg, use a color of the tablet, and you give that every week. If it is eleven to twenty kg, divide the tablet into two, give half every week. So you can pause and go through the rest. For travelers, the first tablet should be taken just one or two days before departure to the endemic zone. Then, while you are there at the endemic zone, you take one tablet every week. You continue one tablet every week for the next six weeks when you return to your country without malaria. I mean, when you return to the Western world of Europe. Uncomplicated malaria treatment, you can use three tablets, that is of adosine 1,500 mg and pyrimetamine 75 mg once. You may take it twice a week. For treatment of Children greater than two months old, the dosage will be higher than when you are using it for prophylaxis. Okay, in that case, for five to ten kg child, 
half tablet should be taken. 11 to 20 kg, you take whole tablet. And you can pause and check the rest. In severe malaria, if you want to get a better outcome, you have to give another medication entirely, like quinine or atacinate, before you administer the fancida. So, in severe malaria, you give your intravenous agents or intramuscular agents before you administer your paura agent like fancida. The side effects. Folate level will drop while on this medication. And someone should ask me, why that? Well, sulfadocine is a sulfonamide. And sulfonamide is an antifolate. That is the reason. There may be severe hypersensitivity, and that will lead to dress. Dress doesn't mean that dress or you're wearing a cloth. That simply means drug rash with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms. SJS is not something as more than Steven Johnson syndrome, and 10 is not figure 10, is toxic epidema necrolysis. Other side effects will include skin rash with blisters and the skin will start peeling off. That may be pale skin or easy bruising, bleeding, feeling tired, and weakness. Other side effects will include dizziness, hallucinations, scissors, oliguria, anuria, hair loss, and headache. Tinnitus, insomnia, depression, anxiety, jaundice, fever, and chills. Contraindications. That means there are certain situations when and where we cannot use sovadocine combined with pyrimetamine. Have sensitivity to fancy them or to that brand name available in your country or jurisdiction, don't use it. Have sensitivity to sulfonamide only, not combination of the two, don't use it because you still have your sovadocine right now. Have sensitivity to pyrimetamine, you are not sensitive to sulfonamide, but you are sensitive to pyrimetamine, then you can't use this combination right now. Liver or kidney damage, we will not use this medication. Still on contraindications, at third trimester of pregnancy, we will keep sulfonamide and any compound containing sulfonamide off the table. And why that? Medications like sulfonamide, third generations of allosporin like eftriazone and dapsone can all displace bilirubin leading to hyperbilirubinemia and canning terrors in the newborn. Also in a woman that is breastfeeding, no fancy that. In anyone diagnosed with GCPD deficiency, no fancy that. As a matter of fact, we need to know about that diagnosis before administering it. In anyone anemic, and unfortunately, it is megaloblastic anemia, secondary to folate deficiency, no consider today. Administration. We can take this medication with food and loss of water. It is not expected to be the medication you'll be taking indefinitely. No. You can swallow whole. Don't crush, don't chew. Overdose symptoms. You have nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, fever, cheese, sore throat, swollen tongue. You might have seizures. Drug drug interaction. In medicine, we always collaborate. No one is an island. We don't know it all. So, our friends in pharmacy will help. So, contact the pharmacist. But our advice you go there or you Prepared before you make that phone call 
with the list of all sort of drugs you are taking. Better still, just give the pharmacist or your physician the list of all medications you are taking. You may not know whether it's sober drugs or not. Like somebody taking lasers will ask me, is that a sober drug? Well, I know it is. The pharmacist, no, definitely they do, but you may not because it's not your fail. List all other anti-malaria medications you are taking because if you are taking any medication that is containing pyrimetomy again, then you will be double dosing the pyrimetomy component right now. Discontinuation. If anyone is on this for a long time, you should discontinue this medication once fully deficiency are certain, or when the diagnosis of megaloblastic anemia, secondary to folate deficiency, is already made. So you can discontinue. As a matter of fact, I'm not expecting anyone to be on this medication for such a period of time that will lead to this. Note this. Avoid sunlight and turning bed. Fancy that or the other brand that is available in your country or jurisdiction, the good medication containing sovadosine is sulfonamide and pyrimetamine. Pretty good. Sometimes we, if we don't find other medications to help even in HIV patients, we use this medication for prophylaxis to against pneumocystis gyrovesi pneumonia and pneumocystis carinii pneumonia like the old name is. So it's a pretty good drug, but watch out and listen to this presentation again. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. There are more presentations as for medications and everything about malaria right here. Please check back. More presentations will be published very soon. I appreciate it.